Hi there, this is Kenneth B and you're watching Blue Collar Guy. So, I bought a new air cleaner because of all the wildfires and everything that's been going on in uh, Montreal. Now, one of the things I wanted was to know is, is it actually doing anything? So, I got this particular model at Costco. Yes, I do shop at Costco a lot too. Um, this one is actually got an air quality meter in it. Okay? So, if you look right now, this is red. Normally, it's blue. And it also tells you the VOC level and the parts per million. Even tells you when you have to change your filter. Now, why is it red? Well, I did some cooking just to test it to see if it would change, and it does. Um, this morning, the air quality outside Montreal was poor, and it was registering around 38 to 40, which is pretty accurate. So, why am I talking about all of this? Well, I discovered that a lot of these air quality meters are not all that accurate. So, um, it looks like this one is, which is a good thing. So, would I recommend the Danby? So far, so good. Let's see how it gets rid of all the smoke, though. All right, I'll let you know. Just going over the air cleaner specs. Two year carry in warranty. That's actually better than a mail in warranty, in my opinion. You buy this at Costco. Hey, you know, just bring it in. The 285 CADR, um, you know, that's not the highest number, but it's also not the lowest. So I'd say it's pretty much there. Uh, meets California ozone emission standards. That's actually pretty good. 99.97 um, particle. True HEPA. It is quiet. I'll give it that. It hardly makes any noise. My air conditioner is way more um, noisy. It is a double sensor visible. Yes, this is a good thing. Um, it not only it tells you in real time what your particle per million is um, and that's what this is it tells you it's got a quality it's got a good sensor on it I, I will not discount that the only thing I don't like is the cost of the replacement filters which are about a hundred dollars um, does 443 square feet I would say it, that's even underrated because it cleaned the air in roughly 25 minutes my place is about that so it can do probably two air changes an hour. Now on the box, I did notice that it had this warning, cancer reproductive harm, PC. Okay, so uh, for those who don't know about this, any um, thing that is packaged as well as the unit itself, if it has anything to do with cancer or cancer causing, um, now, I would not be alarmed by this because it could just be the packaging. In other words, the plastic wrap that the filters have on them, you know, the, the process in which they are made could be cancer causing. I don't believe the device itself <laughs> causes cancer. This is very controversial and a lot of people dispute this. So, um, it's, I'm glad that they have these warnings on there, but I think they need to be more specific. Is it the unit itself? Is it the packaging? Because right now it is just too vague. So a lot of things have this warning. I wouldn't put too much weight on it. Um, you know, uh, some people are overreacting on that. Uh, also, Energy Star compliant, and Danby's been around since 1947, which is pretty good. Some of their products, I like some of the products I think are terrible. So I don't think all their products are awesome. So that's the end of the box. And they've been around for 70 years. So anyways, that's it for the unboxing. You know, um, it's a true HEPA filter, you know. And uh, I think that's, that's pretty much it. It was boxed in uh, this awful styrofoam plastic. So, and you can get an extra two months of warranty if you register it online. So, personally, I think that that's unnecessary. You know, if it lasts two years, then what's two more months? You know, so. 
by then you'll probably have something else in your living room okay so as I said before I did some cooking to see um, you know does the air quality change when you cook well you know and you tend to burn a few things every now and then I was cooking some meat and it's a little smokier than normal so I just happened to look over at my uh, purifier that I just got and I noticed that it is reacting to the smoke that's in the air which is actually a good thing so can I verify that this is working uh, yeah uh, the VOC the volatile organic compound light has already changed back to blue it was red because I actually brought over the pan that was smoking to see what would happen and uh, it did so I kind of uh, initiated this experiment to see uh, what would happen it does say that the air quality is poor on this part of the light here um, we're up to 750 parts per million which is kind of consistent with the more expensive air testers the top light is turned red which gives you a visual indication that things are not good so I'm going to let you know um, how fast it changes to blue again like how fast can this thing do it this is a large air purifier designed for an apartment my size so it'll be 450 square feet and yes I do live in a small apartment so let's find out it should be able to uh, fix this problem in less than an hour I would think it should actually be able to restore the air quality back alright so let's find out what's going on I'll get back to you as soon as I find out okay so a little progress report it hasn't even been 20 minutes yet and it's already down to 87 it was over 700 so once it reaches around 30 that red light should turn to around green 38 to 40 ish and around that area there's uh, the acceptable levels it will still continue to uh, clean the air um, one thing I, I'm not sure if I mentioned before is that when it does sense dirty air the fan speed automatically increases because it's on automatic so it will increase the fan speed which um, kind of puts it in like a turbo function that uh, cleans the air faster so uh, I just leave it in automatic and let it do its thing so it is slowly going back down and as soon as it turns blue I'll let you know how, uh, how much time has expired but it is acting relatively quickly and considering you know I was cooking and you know I burned some meat and you burn toast things like that it's kind of nice it um, it actually protects you from those type of harmful um, particulates too because even though we say well it's cooking cooking particulates are not healthy for your lungs either so we will um, see what the progress is it's as you can see it is slowly dropping as uh, time goes on but I'll let you know once that turns back to blue. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes since it went up to 700 parts per million and we're down to 63. Still showing red or as we know is it says poor air quality. Actually, it's, no, it switched to fair. Before it said poor, now it says fair. So it is slowly transitioning back to good so and I will say that the air in here is a lot more clear than when I had it all smoky with my cooking so I will uh, keep tabs and let you know when it returns back to blue so I will reset the timer for another 20 minutes and we'll see as it says in the uh, instructions that it should be able to do one full air change per hour so we will see all right getting that you know okay so after 24 minutes it changed back to blue so 
So let's call it 25 just to round it up. And it's down to 55 parts per million. So I would say that that's pretty good. 25 minutes it took to do a 450 roughly square foot place. I'd say my place isn't quite that big, but you know, it's uh, there's still a lot of you know area that it has to clean. So, anyways, that's uh, pretty good. I'm fairly impressed with this device so far. Um, normal air quality is 13. The air quality in Montreal right now is very bad. Uh, let me demonstrate. Alexa, what's the air quality today in Montreal? Today, in Montreal, the air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups, with an air quality index of 134 on the EPA scale. Okay, so it not only had to deal with my cooking, but it had to deal with the unhealthy air that's outside my place right now. So, this number that you're seeing here would probably be a lot lower if it wasn't also having to deal with that as well. When I woke up this morning, that number registered around 38, I think. So, the normal, I guess, with bad air quality outside would be about 38 in here. So, it is dealing with not just what I did, but with what's going on out there. On a regular day, it seems to register around 12 or 13, and that's just because of dust and things like that that may be in your apartment. Anyway, it's kind of an interesting thing. I paid about $350 for it. I know that sounds kind of expensive, but it does have filters on this side as well as this side. And the filters are kind of pricey at 100 bucks for a replacement, which I think is expensive, but if it does what it's supposed to do, then, well, then that's the price you have to pay. So unfortunately, even if you live in Canada, if you want clean air, you'll have to pay for that too. Hi there, this is Kenneth B, and we're doing yet another test of the Danby Air Purifier. As you can see, it is red again. This time, we're on a different day. Today is Saturday, Canada Day. We have thunderstorms going on, and rain and everything else in Montreal. I noticed that the light went red on the um, air purifier, which I kind of like. It tells you when the air is not so good. So if you look at the number, it's gone up to 65. Anything below 50, it'll turn blue again. So it's just letting me know that uh, it has to clean the air. So I've turned off the other air conditioner because I thought well in the previous footage you might have thought that the fan noise on this was very loud but it's not it's extremely quiet and this is actually on the higher setting because when it turns red the fan increases on the speed automatically so over here it'll say automatic and it basically it's based on the information that it gets here so, it tells me that the air quality is fair. So it even tells you if it's fair, poor, bad, whatever, inside your place. So it says it's still fair. I've noticed that there is a lot of fumes outside, so I'm not too sure where they're coming from, but it could be the forest fires, things like that. But I'm just uh, letting you know that yes it's I've been testing this over a few days now and I'm quite happy with it I've been able to breathe easier it it just you know it just seems to be working um, and that's a good thing because these things aren't cheap so uh, I do recommend this model because at least it's letting you know what's going on it's not just something well is it working I don't know if it's working or not you know you have no idea I've also noticed that the level of dust has gone down because it seems to be filtering that out too. So a lot of apartments are dusty by nature and this one is no different. So and as you can see the numbers going back down again. 
Maybe because I've turned off the air conditioning and it's not stirring things up. So, I'm going to keep letting this go. That rumbling you're hearing is the thunder. So, who knows? Maybe we'll get a power outage. But that's, uh, that's an update on this. There's not a lot of information on this particular air purifier, which is the other reason why I wanted to make a video of it. And it just went blue. There you go. So at 55, change to blue. The indicator here says the air is clean. So, and yeah, it's probably because my air conditioner was in fact bringing in some bad air from outside and stirring it around the apartment. All right, that's it for that.